let's take a look at gulp file js and how uh, intellisense automatically pop up here with uh, web essentials so um, let's require gulp and you can see you get nice intellisense for all your node modules here let's set up js hint to run with gulp um, and we do that like this and um, now we can create our task so gulp task Give it a name, JS hint, and we can do with IntelliSense here very easily um, set up our task here. And let's kind of so you can see you now get full IntelliSense for your Gulp file. Very nice. Um, I forgot an equals up there. So. That's very, very simple, really uh, powerful and easy to use here, and it just magically works when you are working with Gulp in the JavaScript editor. We can also do it with Grunt, but it's a little bit different, so let's take a look. So let's say that this was a Grunt file. Um, I would do this. Um, but here we have to use uh, JS doc comments and um, we can do that like this, and uh, I'm going to use the IntelliSense we have for writing these things. I'm going to say that the parameter, the grunt parameter, is of type grunt with a capital G, and then grunt here uh, to uh, point to the actual uh, parameter right here. And now we have full IntelliSense for grunt as well, so we can say grunt init config you know, like this. Uh, we can load an npm task, let's say uh, grunt contrib js hint, and we can also register tasks and do all these other things, and we now have full IntelliSense uh, with signature overloads here, uh, which is a Visual Studio only feature, which is really nice. So we can define our uh, default task here and say that uh, in this case we only have uh, one uh, task to run, and that's js hint. So very easy, very powerful, and it's available in the newly released version of Web Essentials 2015. Thanks for watching.